The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, is the most powerful telescope ever made for SPA. The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, is the most powerful telescope ever made for space exploration. It can see things that are too far, too faint, or too old for any other telescope to detect. This telescope allows scientists to look deeper into space than ever before. It also helps them see further back in time, to when the first stars and galaxies were forming. JWST is not just about studying things nearby in our galaxy. It also observes galaxies and planets far beyond our solar system. One of its most exciting jobs is to study exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars outside of our own solar system. Some of these planets are rocky, some are gas giants, and many are still full of mystery. Scientists are very interested in planets that are in what's called the habitable zone. That's the area around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. Since water is key for life as we know it, finding it elsewhere in the universe is a big deal. JWST checks the atmospheres of exoplanets to see if they have gases like methane or carbon dioxide. These gases are connected to life on Earth, so if we find them on other planets, it gives scientists a reason to explore more. Even though these gases don't prove life is there, they are strong clues that conditions might be right for life to exist. JWST has already studied a planet about 120 light years away from Earth. It orbits a cool, small star and has signs of carbon based molecules in its atmosphere. These include methane and carbon dioxide, which are very interesting for scientists. They are often related to living things here on Earth. There was even water vapor detected, which is another exciting sign. It means that places like this planet might not be as rare as we once thought. One special planet that JWST is studying is called K218b. It's around 8.6 times bigger than Earth. K218b is known as a sub-Neptune planet. This means it's bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. There's no planet like it in our own solar system, so it gives scientists something completely new to study. K218b might have a thick atmosphere and maybe even a deep ocean hidden under its clouds. If the ocean is real, this planet could be one of the best places to look for signs of life beyond Earth. JWST found methane and carbon dioxide on K218b, which are very important for life as we know it. These discoveries help scientists guess what the planet's air and surface might be like. Before JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope had already observed K218b. But JWST gave clearer and more detailed information. It showed that K218b is in the habitable zone and orbits a red dwarf star. This means the temperature might allow liquid water to exist. Also, there are no giant planets nearby, which makes it easier for scientists to study it. Some scientists think the planet might be fully covered in water. It could also have a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen. There might even be a gas called dimethyl sulfide in the atmosphere. On Earth, this gas is only produced by life in the oceans. If that gas is really there, it could be a big clue, but more research is needed to confirm it. Researchers from the University of Cambridge are leading this study and plan to use JWST to get more data. Even if they find these life-related gases, it doesn't mean life actually exists on the planet. The atmosphere could still be too thick or the surface too hot for life to survive. Liquid water might not last long enough for life to develop. That's why scientists have to be very careful with their studies. JWST uses something called transmission spectroscopy to study planets. It looks at how starlight changes when it passes through a planet's atmosphere. This helps scientists figure out what kinds of gases are there, just by analyzing the light. 
It's an amazing tool that lets us study faraway planets without ever leaving Earth. JWST also studies galaxies that were formed very early in the universe, billions of years ago. In some of these galaxies, it has already found water and complex chemicals. One galaxy had particles like the ones found in smoke, coal, and oil on Earth. These particles, called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are signs of complex chemistry in space. This means that important chemicals might have formed much earlier in the universe than scientists expected. It brings us closer to distant stars and worlds we once only imagined. With every new discovery, we take one more step toward understanding the universe. JWST helps us explore the unknown and keeps the search for life going strong. JWST is not just a telescope, it's like a time machine allowing us to see how the universe looked billions of years ago. By studying ancient light, it helps us learn how galaxies, stars, and planets were born and how they changed over time. Dot. JWST will continue its mission for many years, helping us uncover secrets hidden in the stars. Its legacy will shape space exploration for future generations, pushing the limits of what we can know. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.